hello mega quick I wanted to put the video out about all this these riots that are going on all right I can't not say anything any longer I, I, I just I'm speechless that guy that got killed the cops he knew the cop the cop that apparently killed George Floyd knew him they worked together three of the four cops that were there were not white one was black and I think one was Hispanic and one was uh, Chinese but American Chinese American whatever he was also friends with some of the top some of the elites yeah uh, his dad was a Freemason is what I'm being told this is all allegedly but this is what I'm, this is what I'm reading I find it very coincidental that that happened with all them people stood there were filming it calling out going stop it man why didn't nobody get involved I'm sorry it was seen very staged I really believe right now and after watching the footage again and again because I've downloaded it that this is my opinion and people can disagree and call me whatever I don't think that was real I think that was staged it was too co too convenient you could just see his head under the car all these people are just happened to be stood there watching no one doing anything and the cop that was like standing guard watching them I think he was the Chinese guy was he or something like that East Asian he just stood there didn't even nobody even approached him and said get out my way you wouldn't watch someone die right it was all very odd the people looked like crisis actors that were going look at him now look at him now he, he. do you know what do you know what i really think yeah this is what i think the with the lockdown the virus they want chaos right they want complete chaos so that they can come right i've said this for years they can come riding in and they can bring their their order their version of order um in and order out of chaos they never expected the lockdown to go so well they've admitted it apparently the uk were the most compliant in the world but the, most countries were well they all were the only countries that seemed straight through it were the african countries like that tanzania guy with his uh purple fruit and there was another one as well another another african country because they're actually proud nations and they don't be dictated to by china and and the eu and whatever whoever else and who and good on them yeah i think i'd rather live there at the moment the way it's going so they never had the riots. They expected riots with the lockdown. And nothing didn't really happen, did it? There was a couple of little scuffles. And they were shamed on the media and said, look at this lack of social distancing. Piers Corbyn was arrested uh, for talking about David Icke got removed from uh, like depersoned, was it YouTube and Facebook, I think it was. That was it, really. So they're like, shit, we need some riots. We, we, need, we, you know, we need to bring in our order out of the chaos so we'll go to plan b we'll, we'll set up something that's you know gonna gonna really ignite the black community not just in the U us in the uk it just seems like that because all of a sudden the social distancing has gone out the window so if i go i can't go and hug my dad but you can have thousands tens of thousands of people joined up side by side where's the social distancing the virus is just is like convenience for them no one on the media has talked about the looting the murders taking place in america a shopkeeper has been murdered at least one they're having the businesses destroyed this antifa is shipping them in you've got the cia handing the bricks out and the police to the to the protesters half of the protesters aren't even black yeah why is it come here i you know yeah it, it's if it's true it's horrific right and i'll be the first one to call it out but i don't know his color 
it's not a thing to me. I, I don't care what colour you are, you know. I, I, I hate racism. But the media and this elite thing are, are actually making it about colour. I'm noticing colour now, when before I didn't notice colour. And can't, people need to wake up. They want division and they're getting it. We need to just stop fighting over stupid things and come together as a per, as a people because the elite are 1%, we're 99%, the rest of the world. So I think it's all a distraction. I've heard about something to do with Hillary's emails. There's other stuff. You see, when something like this is going on, you need to look at what they're doing, what they're trying to divert from. And there's stuff going on at the moment. I've heard a few stories about the Vatican. I've heard that the Pope's been arrested. Um, I've heard all sorts of stories. I don't know how true they are. I've heard about Hillary's trial started today. Don't know if that's true. About the email thing. I'm 50-50 on Trump. I'm going, I don't know anymore. I, I don't know, right? He could be the best of a bad bunch, but he also could be in with it. Or he could be genuinely, you know, I'm not saying he's a good person, but is he against the cabal because he's a businessman and, he, and he's selfish and he wants everything for himself. And with communism, you have to sort of, if you're going to have a globalist communist thing, you're going to have to all share the wealth, which I can't see him doing because he's, he's a selfish business businessman you know so i don't know you even got george bush coming out now and supporting black lives matter you know george bush you know they organized 9 11 what about lee rigby where was the outrage where was the outrage when the muslim bomber blew up 22 people in manchester 19 children died we were told don't look back in anger that became the song of that we weren't allowed to be angry when it happened on our soil and it was children, our children. Where were the riots? Where was all these lefty organisations? Nowhere. But something happens and uh, was it 8,000 miles away, wherever it is, 8,000 miles away, however far it is across the ocean. Something that's horrific. If it was real, horrific. If it wasn't, shame on them for that. But either way, this has got to stop. Black and white should unite. It's This country is nowhere near as racist as America. I don't get it. It's, it's probably the, one of the most tolerant nations in the world. You know, you can't say anything now. It's gone so politically correct. It's never been a better time. I just... I can just the division we are we need to just stop falling for this we are literally being programmed and it's not until you wake up do you realize you suddenly go oh my god I've, was I really like that and then once you're awake you're looking at other people and you're like god they can't see it either that's what I was like it's so frustrating you know that little girl Emily Jones that poor little girl didn't get anything on the news but it's so obvious it's orchestrated anyway I just wanted to just, just drop that in there I'm really angry about it um, and I think people need to just stop stop looting stop shooting stop smashing things up you're just anarchists you're jumping on the bandwagon go and get a job anyway just my thoughts take care guys